Dear friends, in the last episode, we started our discussion on motor sensory coordination. In this episode, we shall continue our discussion on the same topic. Sri Sri Thakur Nukul Chandra says, Doing is the mother of getting. If you want to get, we need to do. Doing is putting our thoughts into action. So if we have powerful thoughts and have the ability to convert those thoughts powerful thoughts into powerful actions we can have powerful outcomes this is the essence of motor sensory coordination why some people lack the ability to convert their powerful sublime thoughts into action sri sri thakur nukul chandra observes that there are two primary reasons one is illness other one is inactivity one may lack the ability to convert thoughts into action right from the birth could be because of some genetic reasons there could be some other elements one might acquire later which could also disrupt one's motor sensory coordination but today we shall not talk about illness today we're going to talk about loss of motor sensory coordination because of inactivity continuous inactivity in a man can lead to the loss of his ability to convert thoughts and ideas into action and this continuous inactivity could be because of ignorance when we talk about ignorance it is primarily ignorance in parents about their children most of the time parents unconsciously damage motor sensory coordination in their children let's look at a few examples today Most parents have dreams about their children. They want their children to become something special. But often times they are ignorant about the real special qualities that their child is born with. Every child is born with distinct and unique abilities. The parents often do not recognize that. For example, a child has the potential to become a sports person, but the parents force the child to become a computer engineer what happens in such a case the child is forced to learn and do certain things that he doesn't enjoy doing and he never does things that probably would have awakened his inner instincts the outcome is damaged motor sensory coordination in the child the child grows up into an adult disinterested in life and profession let's look at another example there are parents who force their child to focus only on studies and disengage from any other activity of course such a child excels in academics but gets deprived of vital life skills social skills practical skills the outcome is disrupted damaged motor sensory coordination Sri Sri Thakur Nukul Chandra says that many a time our inner impediments block our motor sensory coordination. He describes them as enemies within us. Some of these inner impediments are false esteem or ego, hatred, insult, shame, fear, malice, laziness, etc. we need to be careful about this inner enemies which block our motor sensory coordination let's look at one example the example of false esteem on one occasion i was invited to a school in their annual function as their guest i arrived at the school at the designated time it was a rainy day some of the volunteers could not reach the school in time the preparations for the function were delayed they were frantically running around to get things in order so that the function could start the stage was not ready the audio systems were still being set up the chairs were not in place and they had very few volunteers for a moment i thought let me extend a helping hand to them then i pulled back thinking oh i'm a guest here how can i jump in as a volunteer and run around to set things right along with other volunteers i stepped back a few minutes later an elderly man arrived this elderly man seeing the volunteers struggling stepped up walked up to them 
and started helping them. After some time, everything was in place, all the preparations were done, and the function began. I found the elderly man sitting next to me on the dais, sharing the stays with me. And he was to be felicitated on the occasion for his contribution to the society. I was feeling ashamed. Such a respectable personality with great contributions to the cause of the society did not hesitate to jump into action whenever there was a need. He materialized his thoughts into action the moment he realized the need of the hour. I did realize the need of the hour. I had an idea to help the volunteers, but despite that, I did not come forward to convert my idea into action. And why this happened? This happened because of the enemy within me, the inner impediment, which in this case was false esteem. I held myself back because of my false esteem. That day I realized that if I continue to inculcate this habit, if I continue to shelter this enemy within me, this is going to cripple my motor sensory coordination in no time. My dear friends, all these impediments, inner enemies, can damage our life beyond our imagination. Friends, today we talked about the primary root causes of loss of motor sensory coordination. In the next episode, we are going to talk about how to strengthen and improve our motor sensory coordination. Till then, goodbye. Thank you very much.